in there. The teachers were there. They, they knew that no one was in an unsafe position and that everyone was really having fun. People in Detroit Lakes and on social media are still buzzing after what started out as something innocent turned into an uproar. In fact, some student council members at Detroit Lakes High School are pretty upset themselves. They're the ones who helped plan the activity and they say it's being perceived all wrong. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer introduces us to these students who consider themselves leaders at their school. I was really surprised at how fast it blew up and how negative people were right away towards it. These four seniors at Detroit Lakes High School are pretty passionate about their school. They're proud of it. And as they walk the halls, they'll be happy to tell you about all the great things happening there. Detroit Lakes High School Student Council is nationally recognized. But they were quite frankly floored at how this picture erupted on social media over a game of musical chairs. Plastic bags were placed loosely on students' heads and used as blindfolds during the game. I feel like a lot of people were quick to judge with uh, what was going on. They kind of had an outside view. They were not part of the activity. Van and his fellow students say the plastic bags were thoroughly tested before being used. And they say there was never any danger that most of us associate with putting a plastic bag on your head. But the world of social media didn't know that. And these students say they don't regret using the bags, but feel bad about how the public perceived it. The staff and the students, everyone was laughing they were, and thought it was exactly. fun. And that was just a, so incredible to have everyone, everybody so engaged and having mm -hmm. fun with this competition. This is a special week at the school as they try to lighten things up in the cold Minnesota winter. <laughs> but you can bet they'll likely not be using plastic bags for the rest of the celebrations. In Detroit Lakes, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. Some of those students also participated in the game of musical chairs. They tell us they never felt like they were in danger and their breathing was never compromised. And they admit the picture itself is deceiving. Coming up next, just.